Plains from Olympia, Washington, northeast corner of the United States of America. My name is Bill and I've got our new hat on. Hold on a second. Pretty cool. I got Toby with me today. And Toby's not moving. Okay. So we're gonna talk about meeting America one handshake at a time. Which is like this little phrase I coined. I'm pretty darn proud of it. That's what I plan on doing once I start traveling around America starting next spring 30 next march yeah baby here's a song from 1969 maybe 1970 it's sung by crosby stills and nash i don't know maybe young was in there too but it was uh called wooden ships and it was actually an anti-war song but the first line has always resonated with me not because of anti-war, but because of its message, which is important to this video. It goes something like this, and pardon my old voice. If you smile at me, I will understand. Because that is something everybody everywhere does in the same language. And that's what <clears throat> this little thing is all about. Meeting Americans, bridging the gaps, because I am a strong believer that we have infinitely more in common with our neighbors, with our friends, God, with just complete strangers than we do differences. So that's my thing. That's my thing. We're passing uh, Amanda and, and Lacey's house right now. They're brand new to the neighborhood, moved up from Texas. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this house coming up on the corner, with a big fir tree in front. That's uh, <coughs> Cynthia. She just moved here with her mother from Virginia after the death of Cynthia's husband. Brand new start. Pretty cool. Um, we just passed this place with the redecoration going on. That's Bob and and uh, shoot, hold on a second. Bob and Eloise. They just moved here from Oakland. <coughs> As did their kids, believe it or not. The kids live about two blocks from here in another house. Married couple with their three children. They just moved here from Oakland. Now, how do I know all that? And the other ones I mentioned as we go further? It's because I took the time. I took the time to say hello while I was walking. I took the time to stop for a little conversation, to introduce myself. <laughs> and now these people, you know, they're what I would consider friends. Yeah, you can talk about different levels of friendship, but to me that's not important. We don't pass each other in the street and cuss each other. We don't flip each other off. We don't pull out a weapon and shoot each other. I have bridged the gap between myself and them with my dogs as goodwill ambassadors. And in so doing, taken one step closer to, uh, <coughs> heck, to John Lennon and his song Imagine. More later. Anyway, sure sign of my age in mind. I'm not sure what I told you, but anyway, this is all part of meeting America one handshake at a time, which I'm, which I'm uh, huge. And it, you know, all stems back from my childhood. And my parents, Toby wants a treat. Hold on. My parents, and they knew everybody in the town they grew up in. And uh, my dad was gregarious. He would say hi to anybody. He'd shake hands with anybody. But uh, that's the America I believe in. I do. I refuse to believe 
that uh, America is all the negativity that you see on the news. I'm not going to believe it. And if it is truly that, then I'm going to be the solution. I don't get to just sit around and passively gripe about, uh, about the state of affairs. I don't get to do that. I haven't earned the right to complain if that's what I want to do. If I'm not going to be a part of the solution. So I'm just going to go out and be friendly to people. Some will find me weird and they'll reject it, but not many. Hasn't been my experience so far. Most people are friendly and they will take the time to talk to you and they'll smile. If you smile at me, I will understand because that is something everybody everywhere does in the same language. All right, I got people to meet. Over now. So this house we just passed is a lady that lives there. She's like three feet tall. And she used to walk around the neighborhood all the time. Uh, by the way, Elizabeth lives here. Just painted her house. Loves the color. Painted it orange because it makes her happy. Toby, come on. Anyway, the lady, three feet tall, had a dog. She used to walk around the neighborhood daily. And uh, the dog just died. And a friend, just at the same time, had a litter of puppies and gave her a puppy. And that lady is so happy, so excited. The puppy's already made friends with my dogs. And you know what? I wouldn't know any of that if I hadn't bothered to reach out and say hello. True story, folks. What's it gonna hurt, huh? What's it gonna hurt? All right, later. And by the way, I've changed the names of everyone I've mentioned in this video. I wouldn't do that to anybody. Without their permission, they don't, they don't have to have their privacy infringed upon. So if you're watching this and you're thinking, God, I can't believe you said the real name. Well, I didn't. I'm just winging it as I go, making up names. But the people are real. Just a second, got a car coming by. We will wait, I will wave. They wave back, life is good. Hey. Just so you know. It's not all some shining rainbows. I mean, there are some people who are gonna reject you when you reach out. I've got there's one guy, I swear, I'm not making this up. First time I'd ever seen him. This is like six months ago. He was out in his yard and he was spraying Roundup on his lawn. Okay, Roundup. Now, I refrained from making the comments I wanted to make about poisonous crap like that. And I simply said, hey, how you doing? Now, I am not making this up. This is exactly what it was said. And I had Maggie along with me at the time. And he looked at me and he said, make sure your dogs don't get into this stuff. It's poison. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can laugh all you want because I thought the statement was pretty funny too. And then he followed that up with this one. This is, my, this is his classic. He said, while you're at it, just keep your damn dogs off my lawn. And I'll be perfectly happy. To which I thought, I doubt seriously if you are ever perfectly happy. But I smiled. I smiled, gritting my teeth. I smiled because you know what? We don't need any more negativity. We don't need any more conflict in this world. I smiled, grinned and said, you got it boss. Have a good day. That was it. Somehow I found the strength of character to do that. Here's Gracie's house. Love Gracie. Late 20s. Lovely human being. Got a dog named Mooney that my dogs love to sniff through the fence. And there, right there, Vietnam vet Gus. 
nice guy keeps to himself but if spoken to very respectful and I suspect he likes the conversations that he and I get into this house here we have Martha Martha my girl you will always be my inspiration please yeah shout out to Beatles Martha's older than me and I'm older than dirt Martha doesn't look as old as me, and that's annoying. But Martha has her daughter help her walk around the neighborhood every day. And every day that I see her, Martha stops and says, may I pet your dog? And she's just in heaven when she, I say, of course. And then Toby and Maggie are on their best behavior and Martha gets to pet them. And I'm telling you, you can't put a price on that kind of happiness and it's such a small thing. Oh man, I wish I could bottle this, sell it, become a millionaire and then give the millions back to, I don't know, some worthwhile charity. That's what I wish. I don't know, there's an old saying about wishes. If wishes were something, then something, 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 but I don't remember. I don't remember. Lady that lives in this house. Don't know her name, but she's uh, <laughs> she's 80. Still jogs every day. Still jogs. Yeah, jogs. No, I didn't say walks. She still jogs. Okay, that's an inspiration right there. All right. More later. All right. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me. It makes it more personal. Okay, here's the thing. If you like what we do, whatever my wife and I do, hold on a second. Okay. If you like what we do, please hit the like button at the end. Better yet, Leave a comment. I love comments. I always respond. And better, better yet, please hit the subscribe button. It makes a difference to content creators. It really does. It seems like such a small thing to everybody else, but to those of us who make videos like this, it's huge. And coming up shortly, if you want to be a financial supporter, of what we do if you want to be a patron we will have what's called a patreon page and for as little as three dollars a month you can help us as we continue to make content because content's time and money folks and yeah i would do this for nothing but it sure would be nice to have a little financial support without having to count on corporations or AdSense or any of that so all right that's it final message meeting America one handshake at a time it's easy to do folks we all can do it we all can do it come on join me if you smile at me I will understand you can finish it over enough